terms of the returns are, are very similar. Uh, if, it, if it's less than half a hectare, so it, if it's one twentieth of a hectare, then the, the return actually reduces slightly <coughs> because the original price of investment is higher. Uh, the lots are divided and by volume, you pay less per lot. So one, one original one lot is 3,500 euro. One hectare has 20 lots. Half a hectare has 10 lots. Uh, so if you see that 20 lots at 40,000 euro, each lot is 2,000. But if you invest in one lot, it's 3,500, so that will fluctuate with your return. Who is giving the, who is giving the profits to the investor? Well, we're, we're a vertically integrated company. So when you, inv if you invest with us, we will give the returns to the investor as well. We're, we're a management, forestry management company. You invest in eco-forest. We will plant the trees. We will manage the trees on your behalf. We will harvest the trees. We will sell the timber. Then the, the returns are paid directly to the investor. But you sell the trees after 16 years. So well, the investment well, that comes, you said you mentioned that it takes about 16 years. Yes. So how do you pay that on the 4th or 7th or 11th? That's paid only by the 16th year? No. On year 7, we harvest 204 trees. There's 30, uh, 30, commer 30 cubic meters of tin that is sold on that same year, and that return is given to the investor on that year. So you receive a dividend on the seventh year. That is your first dividend on your investment. I don't quite understand something. You're saying it, the, the process of growth of a deep tree is how many years? Well, a tree can grow for 40 years if it remain. It, it grows with time, but obviously on a seventh year, it already has a, a commercial volume. I could harvest all the trees of the seventh year, but your return will not be 300,000 euros. So on year seven, we harvest trees. Those trees are already big enough to have a commercial, vol a commercial value. So if in our thinning process, we must remove them to allow the other ones to grow even bigger, but those ones already have a commercial volume. So in year seven, we harvest 200. We have to remove them. They have a commercial volume. That provides you your first dividend on your investment. So in year seven, you will receive 10,000 euro based on a 40,000 euro investment. So when then one purchases a 40,000 euro a hectare, it includes trees at different ages? Of different yes, ages. yes. On what percentage? Is so that something fixed? Well, basically here, this, is, this shows the chart. You invest 40,000. On year seven, there's, there's three different charts that we're showing just in terms of the price, uh, price valuation. So if today's price, the price of teak remains today for 16 years, then you would be receiving about 6,000 euro. We're, we're predicting a very conservative uh, price increase on the market of teak of 6%. So looking at the 6%, you invest 40,000 euro on year seven, you receive around 9,000 euro. That's your first dividend. On year 11, you receive around 43,000 euro. That's your second dividend in investment. On, on the 16th year, obviously that is that, that is where you receive 70 to 80 percent of your return. That's when we harvest uh, the final trees, and you receive 332,000 euro. Um, one of the added benefits, obviously, of investing in, in one hectare, and this is why I was saying most of our clients generally purchase one hectare, is because including in the investment of one hectare is a trip that is paid. It's a trip paid for uh, for two people to come to visit the plantation. So if you invest in one hectare. Uh, you, ha you have an availability to come uh, to the plantation. This is a trip of last year uh, from our UK office. And this is a group of clients uh, that came to Costa Rica to see their investment. And this is one of the added benefits of investing in one hectare. <coughs> uh, in addition to that, as I said, this is a, uh, what I just presented was uh, based on a, a retail product for a retail clientele. We also manage uh, a different structured product, which is for institutional and private investors. Um, just to give uh, an idea in, in terms of reference of our institutional clientele, uh, just this year we have uh, closed the deal with by DIP. It's a company owned by Amazon, and uh, they have uh, agreed to invest 5% of their net revenues of this year into a forest in Argentina. In addition to that, uh, we also have MediaPost. It's a mass media company in Madrid, and uh, they have uh, invested in our company at uh, institutional level. Uh, their forest is called the Media Post Forest. Uh, it's a 200 hectare forest that is being developed for them in Argentina. Now we have a tropical, por uh, a timber <coughs> portfolio, which this is uh, at the private and institutional level. 
uh, because you, when you're investing in, a, in an institutional level, you need more active cash flows. For that case, uh, as I said, we have different species such as uh, oak, mahogany, uh, teak, eucalyptus. These are some of the different species that we're working. Just recently, we're starting uh, to plant in Honduras African mahogany. And as I said, this is uh, for uh, the high net worth private uh, institutional clients. But just to give you an idea of uh, another aspect of our business uh, that we also uh, conduct. And this is just uh, some pictures of the project. As you can tell, we're very integrated. We start mechanizing the soil. We, this is not, we, we don't cut a forest to plant a new forest. We take areas that are uh, deforested. We mechanize the soil. We add potassium and calcium, all the nutrients that are needed to make sure that the trees will grow properly. All the fertilizers that are added, it's organic fertilizers. Uh, we don't use any chemicals uh, into our project. We have our own, own nurseries. We grow, make sure the trees are growing properly. Uh, we place them, uh, this is what we call a jiffy. Uh, they're placed into that. Um, if you see, this is a one and a half year old tree. This is a two and a half year old tree. Big trees grow very, very fast. Um, and obviously at the end use, uh, you can have them in annual time.